Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys a way to make a shikishi or display origami. And a shikishi is a board that we use in Japan for calligraphy and origami and stuff like that. And what I've done with mine here is I've just taken some little strip of paper. I didn't have enough to cover the whole board. So I just cut it in half into big triangles and used it as corner accents for my, for my paper here. This can be a nice way to still kind of show off some paper you have, but maybe you only have a little extra from the edges when you're doing some other project. could be a really nice way to sort of preserve some paper that you might have. And then I thought I'd go ahead, I made a parakeet, because parakeets are so cute, and that origami is really simple, not too hard. I was going to go ahead and make a cage for it. And um, I'll have the link of how to make the uh, parakeet here. But what I've been doing is I've been using this silver paper and I don't know how it's really gonna work we're gonna see how it turns out when I'm done but I was hoping for kind of creating this and taking out every other kind of section here and creating uh, this illusion of a um, cage we'll see how it turns out I'm not sure if it's really gonna work but what I did was I just took my silver paper and I folded it in half and then I kind of folded off a top part there so that I have an idea of how far to fold up uh, how far to go for these. And then I'm just trying to cut along here creating, you know, as 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 same sized uh, fringe as you can. And you know, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be exact exact, but you want it to be as close to the same as you can, just so that it doesn't, none of them stand out awkwardly as being the wrong size. But I'm just going to kind of go along here and uh, go straight through all these to see can get here. You don't have to use silver either, of course. Um, I just had a piece and thought it might look cool, but we'll see how it turns out here. It's raining like crazy outside. There's a typhoon coming. <laughs> I'm not in any danger. It just sounds bad, but... <laughs> so we'll just get all this stuff cut across. Let's see if I can get this last one. Stay in line. There we go. Be careful not to cut yourself, of course. <laughs> so I wind up getting this kind of piece here. And my bird actually is kind of just almost the exact same length. So I can't really have it bulge out too much. Um, I can have a little bit of bulge maybe, but not a lot. So what I was thinking probably would be cool is to have the top part and the bottom part secured. And um, you can't see the bird obviously now. I'm going to go through and I'm going to cut out every other piece here so that you can see between the bars. I'm just going to start by doing the top part first. So just try to remember we're going every other one. And I'm just cutting on that crease that I made so that I can create. And I'm not sure how many I made here. We'll have to see, fingers crossed, if it works out right. If it doesn't, we'll just trim up the edge and make it so that I still have an edge to glue down on the other side. If it doesn't, we can fix that. done that all right. There we go. Oh, look at that. I'm just lucky today. It worked out okay. <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to have the right every other one kind of thing going, but I did. So, And then I'm just going to go from the other side too and get all these trimmed off. So I want to just kind of get it stuck in here right. And what I'm going to do is just start off by securing the top part of my cage. Putting some glue on the top edge and getting it centered the way I want to.
kind of get that top part secured. And then I can kind of play around with where I'm going to put the bird. And I kind of wanted to be able to have, you know, just a little, like one bit of her tail sticking out and maybe her beak sticking out like that would be cool. And then I was just going to try to create a little give. I don't want this to be super tight and the origami is just the right size to do this. So um, I'm going to start off first by trying to get my bird glued down here. So we'll put a little bit of glue on this and keep our fingers crossed that I can get it the way I want here. <laughs> I'm kind of playing around with the angles to try to get it so that it's going to cooperate with things here to get it the way I want it to look. And that could be a little tricky, but I think I kind of got it the way I want it here. And then I can take the other side and give myself a little room for this to poof out just a tiny bit. And you could use double-sided tape too if you wanted, but Double-sided tape's not very forgiving. If you if you accidentally get it wrong, you can't really shift things much. But I'm just gonna kind of try to put it so you can get this little bit. Kind of create the illusion of a cage <laughs> and that's just sort of one kind of fun way that you can kind of display your items here um, you could certainly play around with the material you used for the cage you could use a string you could use a decorative wire lots of different things you could do for this but uh, this is just uh, one kind of fun way to have some fun with the parakeet origami. I'll have a link if you guys need reminding of how to make that, but uh, that kind of gives us our finished project there. And I'll have some more fun projects to share with you guys in the days to come. Thanks again always so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!